I got a nice little blog post. And you know Bone Soup's set to be the next coffee, the new coffee? Their company's actually marketing for breakfast, <laughs> Bone Soup. That's I'm telling you, I've been talking about Bone Soup now for decades. Finally, it's going to hit the mainstream, and you're going to start to see all kinds of news and stores and Bone Soup, fast, fast food Bone Soup, etc. Anyway, Bone Soup, glucogel caps, anything with cartilage in it, always use vitamin C with your glucogel. Vitamin C is very important for building connective tissue. In fact, I would be taking extra vitamin C. And then uh, whey protein, also important, as long as they can handle the whey. So you're going to be building the body up in conjunction with strengthening the digestive system and eliminating problem foods. That's your most important strategy. And always remember, fats, essential fatty acids, I should say, are the molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation. So making sure you're using your ultimate EFA is super important. A couple other things that you might want to throw in there, just extra vitamin E, 400 IU is wonderfully anti-inflammatory. Magnesium, a little extra magnesium, that's also very powerfully anti-inflammatory. But those are kind of like extra things. Absolutely positively, uh, the digestive connection is the key. And then also fats and uh, fatty vitamins too. And then... Uh, and then the cartilage kind of the cartilage cartilage and protein containing products. Okay, and how then about, don't forget to uh, 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 nice. Oh yeah, niacin's great, and panto also. Yeah. All the B vitamins, but vitamin B3, niacin, uh, and then pantothenic acid, vitamin B5. You'll get that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Yeah, the B vitamins very very important, but those two in particular, how, B3 and B5, how, can be helpful. How about uh, nightshades? Oh yeah, that's going to be a problem for you. That goes with your food diary. Not everybody will have a problem with nightshades, but so you don't want to. I don't like just saying blanket good food, bad food. You know, I don't like just. Okay. Yes, the nightshades can be a problem. Eat them and see how you do. Gotcha. Okay, that's the food All right. diary. All right, buddy. Thank you so Thanks, much, ben. Jim. Take care, man. All right, Julio in Texas. What's up? Oh shoot, Julio, call back. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry, man. I, I apologize. Dave in Texas. What's up? Dave. Uh, Hey, Dave. Oh, yeah. Hey, good morning, Ben. This is uh, David in Austin. Uh, he, he and I spoke a few times. I'm a great uh, survivor. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dave. Hey, so I've got some questions for you. Um, sure. Really specifically regarding uh, fasting. I know you, you promote fasting quite a bit. Yes. And uh, and I'm on a pretty high uh, regimen of, of vitamins and minerals. And I, I take a lot. I do the, the BTT and plus all of the other things you suggest. So I... I I'm taking probably about 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C at this point, and okay. I was just wondering if it's, it's advisable to take a break for maybe a day. Uh, from oh yeah, yeah I don't wouldn't say advisable. I don't know if that I don't know if I would use the word advisable to take a break, but there's nothing wrong with taking a break. Okay. There's nothing yeah, wrong with skipping a day. Okay. You know, the 20, think about the 24-hour division. You know, we say take this a day and that a day, but that's kind of an artificial division, 24 hours. It's just for convenience. So who's to say it's not every 36 hours or every 48 hours or every 12 hours? You know what I mean? It's kind of a convention and a convenience that we have this 24-hour period that we dose ourselves by, but it's not <laughs> set in stone. Does that make sense, Dave? Oh. It does make sense, and probably everyone's bodies are a little bit different. And plus, that's know, true, too. That's know, right. Everybody's you know, body's different. Yeah. Their needs are different. All of it. All right. Well, right on. Um, that's, uh, that's about all I had. I, I, take breaks, I take breaks all the time. I take day breaks all the time. I skip days all the time. Okay. Well, I'm taking a break today. and uh, Yeah. I'll, Go by your I'll body. Listen to your body. Know. Always listen to your body, yeah. Dave. All right. right Thanks for your call, man. Well, I certainly appreciate everything. Good topic today. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. Take care, man. Bye. All right, Julio in Texas, what is up? Welcome to the Bright Side. How are you doing, uh, Harvest Ben? Doing good. I got a question. Uh, I do dialysis three times a week. Okay. But uh, last Monday they, they took my lab work and they said my calcium was up. So okay. they made me take every, you know all the vitamins that uh, Dr. Wallach has uh, given me. They made you soft it, right? Yes. Okay. So now you're not, now, now what? Now, so, I mean, how can I help you? Yeah, uh, they said my, my vitamin, uh, my, my calcium was high. Oh, okay. My question, my question to you is, do I still keep taking everything, you know? You know, I, here's the deal, Julio. I, I can tell you my opinion, and my opinion is absolutely yes to take it, but that's my opinion. You're dealing with a doctor now, and this is important, you know. I, I, I rip on, I'm guilty of ripping on the medical model daily. And, and sometimes, unfortunately, personally ripping on doctors. I'm no fan of it. However, if you're dealing with a doctor 
it's not fair to him to have somebody else come and contradict what he's doing. It's eth- it's not ethical. It's not fair. You know what I'm saying? He's you have a, you have a de facto contract with him. You're not an official, perhaps, but de facto, where you're in his care. And for me to come along and say, don't do what he's telling you to do, that's interfering with this relationship that you have with him. And I don't like doing that. I don't feel right doing that. You know what I'm saying, Julio? So my opinion right. is, yes, absolutely stay on it. But I can't tell you that because you have a relationship with this guy, and he's in, in good conscience. He's helping you out. And to have somebody from the outside come and say, no, that's not fair. And I don't want to do that to him. Or do you? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. my opinion is obviously, yes, you need the, you need the PTT, you need the supplements. You, you know, you're suffering from dirty blood anyway, Julio. The, your problem in the first place is nutritional deficiency and toxicity. That's the big problem. So, yeah, maybe you need the dialysis, but let's work on your blood, my friend. Let's start cleaning your blood, Julio. Get on, exactly. and, that's, and that's what the supplements will do, and that's what uh, the fasting and the nutritional and dietary, I'm sorry, the dietary and food strategies will do. That's what all the things we talk about in this program, deep breathing, relaxing. By the way, you know there's an important relationship between diabetes and stress? Talk about, I don't have time to talk about that today, but a, a study just came out showing how stress exacerbates and can even initiate diabetic symptoms. And if they haven't told you you're diabetic, you can rest assured you are, just by virtue of being on dialysis. Um, anyway, Julio, I got a, I got, I got a move. Do you have any, anything else I can help you with? Uh, I've been taking the, the King Calcium. You know, I just started taking that. Uh, did that just continue? King, I know, I know. again, I can't tell you that, but in my opinion, you want to stay on all your supplements. I just, but I can't. Okay. I don't want to interfere with that that relationship you have with you and your doctor. I'm going to let you go, uh, Julio. Thanks so much for your call. I hope I helped you out. Okay, got one more call okay. I want to get to. Uh, K, real quick, K from Michigan. What's going on? Do I have K? K? K K. Okay. Okay K. Are you there? I don't know what's with our phones lately. Well, yeah, maybe Kay just decided to go. Oh, well, that's the music anyway. Hey, Kay, give us a call back on our next program. Sorry that didn't work out. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. Please check out my skin health page, truthtreatments.com. Check out our Retinol 5% Gel. And love to have you on The Bright Side, Ben, team. We can change the world together. We can change people's health together. If you're dealing with a health challenge, you can change your health, too, and make some money at the same time. Join The Bright Side, Ben, team. Call 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right from the website. Of course, you can also purchase all the longevity products right off the website. All right, we'll be back at you on Monday with more good health information. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.